Hello there. This is a quick video about the Supermodel 1 and a little bit about the progress. We've been working on the hardware, primarily focusing on testing some compatibility with different versions of the expansion interface uh, and a few other tidbits. Uh, and Neil's been working on the BIOS. So we have some new updates there as well. So let's go over to the bench and take a look. So here we are with the Supermodel 1 prototype. This is that first prototype with the video part as a separate board so we could do some debugging on it. Um, so this board has the VGA output or the composite output. Right now I'm running the composite output to a small monitor here. Uh, we have a normal Model 1 keyboard attached. Um, the power input is DC from 8 volts to 28 volts. Uh, I'm currently running off one of uh, Ian's um, power supplies with a little adapter here so we can run off that normal your normal old model one power supply or you could use pretty much any um, DC input wall ward anything from 9 volts or 8 volts to about 28 volts um, and we also have this hooked to an expansion module this is a rev C so one of the very early ones this is one that's been modified um, and it requires the buffered cable although our system does not it'll work fine with the uh, with a normal pass-through cable you can use the buffered cable and it'll still work uh, but you don't have to have it um, and, you know, in this case, the expansion interface is being used for the floppy drive controller, the parallel port, and the little um, real or the clock module, and also a serial port if you had that installed. Uh, and so let's take a look at how the uh, code is turning out. All right, so here we are. Looks like a normal TRC Model 1. You can see it has 48K. If you hold down the break and clear key when you press reset, it brings you into a little BIOS menu. Uh, in the BIOS menu, you can select uh, which ROM you want to load. There's a level three basic 1.3, uh, I think the 1.2, uh, and the model one diagnostic ROM. You can also change the clock rate, 1.77, 3.54, 7.09, or 14 megahertz. Uh, you can change it from the two different fonts. So uh, that's the original, TRC to model one font, and then this is a sort of enhanced font that uses the model three character size uh, just to make it look a little better, especially for um, VGA. There's also a little keyboard test routine here, which allows you to test all of the keys. And then there is a character test that you can see all the characters, you see it has the lowercase characters there. Um, so you can select, for instance, basic and make exit. And then it's gonna boot up from the floppy drive that's attached to this machine. And we're gonna boot up LDOS. And so the floppy drive is going through the expansion interface. Let's see what we have in disk one. Okay, we can do Donkey Kong, all right. Let's give that a try. Here we are in good old Donkey Kong. And so these games all work great. The graphics are the same as a normal machine, except you'll notice there's no flicker uh, because the video up is being driven uh, with a kind of a perfect shared synchronous access to the video memory. And so you don't get any access errors or the little glips you normally get on the Model 1. Other than that, the output is you know, basically the same as a real Model 1. Except, of course, you can do VGA, so we're going to die here. There we are. All right. Um, so we'll go back to reset. We can pick the other version of basic, or we can pick the uh, Model 1 diagnostic ROM. Um, so let's do the diagnostic ROM. And, of course, it boots into the diagnostic ROM and uh, does the little video RAM test, and now it'll do a system RAM test. Um, and, again, all, this is using the, the system RAM that's on the system, not on the expansion interface. But we've been testing it with a number of different expansion interfaces and they all seem to work just fine. Uh, I think next up I have a Quint interface to test and a free HD. So we'll give that a whirl. Um, and if all that works as planned, then we'll make the next revision of the PCB that's actually in the form factor size of the uh, real Model 1.